Hello dear students, I am Burhanuddin Lokhanwala, your educator. Today we will be going to learn chapter number 2 that is acid, base and salt of class 10. We will be going to learn this chapter in 5 parts. First, introduction. Second, understanding the chemical properties of acid and base. Third, what do all acid and all base have in common? Fourth, how strong are acid or base solution? And last, more about salts. So, in this video lecture, we will be seeing introduction of this chapter. So, student, you had already studied in your previous class that why sour taste is present in a food or bitter taste is present in a food. Yes, because of acid and base present in the food. So, the food which will be having acid is sour in taste. Let's take an example of lemon. Why lemon is sour in taste? Because lemon contains citric acid. Due to that, lemon is sour in taste. And same, bitter gourd contains base inside it. So, it is bitter in taste. Now, let's connect this acid and base with real life activity. So, in your family, you had seen many times that someone is suffering from problem of acidity after overeating. So, which remedy will you suggest them? Lemon juice, vinegar or baking soda solution? So, your answer is baking soda. But why baking soda? Because here you have to use your knowledge of acid and base that acidity is caused due to excess secretion of acid inside the stomach means there is excess of acid inside the stomach so we know that vinegar is sour in taste so it is also an acid and lemon is sour in taste so it is also an acid so is it good to give another acid no here we have to give base and baking soda solution contain base so we give them baking soda to nullify the effect of each other because acid and base nullify each other effect. Now, let's recall how we tasted sour or bitter substances without tasting them. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible with the help of litmus test. There are three types of litmus paper available. Blue litmus paper, red litmus paper and universal pH paper. Now, suppose you have two solution and you don't know which one is acid and which one is base. So, without testing it, you have to answer that this solution is acidic and this solution is basic. So, here we will use litmus paper. If blue litmus is turned into red, then the solution is acidic and if red litmus is turned into blue, the solution is basic. This we talked about blue and red litmus paper, but there is another one paper that is universal pH paper. With the help of universal pH paper, we can come to know that the solution is basic or acidic. The question is how? So, the solution change the color of pH paper according to the pH of it. Means, every solution has pH. So, the solution turn the paper color according to its pH. As shown in the figure here, the solution has turned the paper into blue. Means, it is alkaline means it has pH more than 7. So, we come to know that solution is basic. So, this is how with the help of litmus test, we can come to know that the given solution is acidic or basic. So, in this chapter, we will study the reactions of acids and base and how acid and base cancel out each other's effect and many more interesting things that we use and see in our day-to-day -day life. Here are some things to know that is there are many other neutral materials like red garbage leaves, turmeric and some colored petals of some flowers that is hydrangea, petunia, geranium which indicates the presence of acid or base in the solution. These are often called as acid base indicator or sometimes simply known as indicator. So, in next video lecture, we will going to learn the chemical properties of acids and base. That's all for today's video. Thank you.